you guys. Good Thursday morning, I think. You kind of lose days when you work for yourself. Well, real quick, we started a, uh, we did our blog last week on this, this slab and how to get it in the machine, get it loaded, get it blocked, all the, all the punitive information. Well, the one thing I wanted to share with you real quick, uh, and this is, this is kind of a little bit of troubleshooting, okay? I have got this thing fully milled down flat. I know you're having a hard time right now because I got a Scooby-Doo cap on. Hey, we're old school up here. No Pokemon, okay? All right. What we do is once, regardless of, of your dimensions, okay, whether you go a full 48 inches wide, whatever the width of your machine is, whatever the width of your engraving you decide to make is, okay, the one thing we do is once you hit the sides, okay, we had, we had talked about a, a lip. We've now got a lip because I dropped this almost 350, 375 thousandths, okay? Now, to make sure as I'm milling this, because I don't want one end of this to be three inches thick and the other end to be two and a quarter, okay? We want to have a little bit of uniformity here. We want some symmetry. Even though we're dealing with a non-symmetrical piece, we can still try to cheat things and, and get it as close to perfect as we can, okay? Well, this here is a little, just a little machinist square. Uh, it's a straight edge, okay? Uh, some guys who do metal forming and break work, they use this to check the 90s on their, their bends, okay? You get the idea. What we do is we, we lay this flat right where the edge of the bit mills, okay? I set it flat because the surface is now perfectly flat. What we do, take a tape measure. Oh, goodness, yeah. We're going to see that without these. Close to 50 glasses. All right. What we do is we put our straight edge on. I measure from the top of my spoiler board to the bottom of this straight edge, to the underside of it. I'm two and a quarter inches, okay? I'm going to come up here. Where am I? To my glasses, of course. I'm going to put this straight edge in right here. Again, I'm going to measure from the bottom of my table to the underside. I'm two and five sixteenths light. I am less than a hundred thousandths variance from one end of a non-symmetrical piece of material to the other. I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but that, that's not bad for a log headboard, okay? For a big slab headboard or a bar top, that kind of yeah, that, that kind of difference really is no big deal. Now, like I said, as soon as your bit starts making your edges, you can throw your straight edge on, okay? You can measure from the top of your spoiler board to the very bottom of your straight edge, and guess what? You can make your adjustments at that point, okay? Maybe one end's got to come up a little bit, shim it. Don't wait until it's all done and then measure it because I really don't want to have to take out anything more than I necessarily have to. Mainly it's because of milling time, okay? To prep these slabs, I don't have the planer like I told you. You really can't take and bill a client for doing this. This is, this is just preparation to make this thing workable, okay? So time is money and this is how we do it. I hope this helped you guys. Stay tuned for more and as always, I appreciate you guys watching me, following me, and subscribing. I hope I'm your favorite engraver in the woods. All right, guys. Have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. Happy fall. Bye-bye now.